Good morning. How are you? Um, so yeah, yesterday at a client's, I came across something super common. Um, I even found it when I was downsizing and organizing my own sentimental items. And that is a ton of textile um, keepsakes. So we're talking pillows, because I think a ton of us made pillows when we were little. I don't know. It was a thing. Um, blankets. Yeah, maybe it was from grandma. Maybe it was your baby blanket. Maybe it was your favorite dorm room blanket, whatever. But those take up a ton of space. And then the most common is t-shirts, like the ones you got from your first marathon, the ones that came uh, the day you met your spouse, whatever it might be. We all seem to have a ton of keepsake t-shirts. So one of the easiest ways to kind of make these more storable and manageable is to cut down the fabric. Um, so maybe you have this pillow and it's big and squishy and you don't really care about the pillow. You already have your throw pillows, whatever, but you really love this flower right here. And you think maybe that might be a cute wall hanging or it might be part of a quilt later or whatever. So cut it out, <laughs> literally just cut out that square. Um, if you are gonna be an overachiever and have a quilt made or do a quilt yourself, make sure that you save enough space around whatever image you want um, so that you have fabric to sew into. Um, and then that one huge thing becomes this tiny little piece of fabric. So there's that. Same with blankets. Um, maybe yesterday the case was uh, half of it was faded, it had been in the sun, but she remembered it was in her grandma's um, spare bedroom where she used to stay. It made her happy. And so what we ended up doing was just saving a piece about, you know, a foot by a foot or so. And that way she has some of the fabric. It still reminds her of being in that space. Um, she's actually going to probably have a quilt made with that. And then that brings us to t-shirts, which we all have a gazillion of. And so you might have this whole big t-shirt. Um, but you don't want it, you just want like the logo. So again, cut out enough space around it so that you can still sew it if you wanna do that. But then having cut everything out, going, you kind of go from like all of this much fabric down to maybe the equivalent of a t-shirt's worth of fabric that you can easily store or put away. And again, some uses, you know, you could frame maybe that little flower, you could frame that on the wall and it would remind you. Or you could create a pillow out of all of these blankets and maybe have a little patchwork pillow and that's smaller, but you still see it. Or you could make or have made um, everything into a quilt. And there's a lot of companies that will do that. If you just, um, if you Google t-shirt quilt, uh, I think there's even a local one in San Mateo. So there you go. An easy way to pare down and have your textiles take up a lot less space. Um, also, sometimes just photographing them might do it for you. I don't know. I like to have the physical item, but there you go. All right. Well, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.